Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, a 40 microfarad capacitor is charged to some energy. Now another uncharged capacitor of 60 microfarad is connected in parallel with the first capacitor. So here we have been asked to find the overall energy of the equivalent system. So as per the question, the energy stored in the 40 microfarad capacitor is equal to 0.2 joule. Now with this capacitor, a 60 microfarad of uncharged capacitor is connected in the parallel connection. So here we have been asked to find the overall energy of this equivalent system. So here let's say this capacitor is equal to C1 and the second capacitor is equal to C2. So first of all, let us find the charge which is being stored across this capacitor C1. That means before the connection of this C2, let us find the charge which is being stored across this capacitor C1. So as you are aware, the energy stored across the capacitor can be given as half Cv square. And as you are aware, the charge stored across the capacitor can be given as C times V, where V is the voltage across the capacitor. That means from this, we can say that E is equal to half times C times Q divided by C whole square. Or we can say that the energy which is stored across the capacitor is equal to Q square divided by 2C. Now here we have been given that this energy stored in the first capacitor C1 is equal to 0.2 joule. That means from this we can say that 0.2 is equal to Q square divided by 2C. And for the first capacitor it will be equal to Q square divided by 2C1 where the C1 is equal to 40 microfarad. So from this we can say that this Q square is equal to 0.2 times 2 times 40 microfarad. Or if we simplify it then we can say that this Q is equal to 4 milliculum. That means before the connection of this second capacitor the charge which is being stored across the first capacitor is equal to 4 milliculum. Now once we connect the second capacitor then the sum charge will get shared with the second capacitor. But if we see the overall charge, then it will remain the same. That means after the connection of the second capacitor, the charge Q2 will be same as the Q1. So in this case, now let us find the energy of the overall system. So after the connection of the second capacitor, let's say the energy of this entire system is equal to E2. And this E2 can be given as Q square divided by 2 times C equivalent where this C equivalent is the equivalent capacitance of this parallel connection. So here this C equivalent is equal to C1 plus C2 that is equal to 100 microfarad. And the charge will remain the same. That means this E2 is equal to 4 milliculoulomb square divided by 2 times 100 microfarad. That is equal to 0 0.08 joule. That means after the connection of the second capacitor, the overall energy of the entire system is equal to 0 0.08 joule. And hence we can say that for the given question, D is the correct answer.